Economic Development, Environmental and Health Initiatives Division. Super long. Also joining us today is my colleague Omar Rascon, Management Analyst, and then also the entire Grid Alternatives team. <laughs> we have like 10, 15 people here. <laughs> I also want to give a huge shout out to Omar, Sabrina, and the whole Grid team for putting, putting this workshop on, sending out all the letters, doing all the outreach literally would not be possible without you all, so thank you so much. So tonight, um, we're gonna be talking about uh, the no-cost solar program that's available to Richmond and North Richmond residents. Uh, next slide. So um, this is through a partnership between the City of Richmond and the nonprofit Grid Alternatives. Um, Grid Alternatives is throughout California, and I believe they've expanded to other states. Uh, we initially uh, started the partnership back in 2007 and then was formalized uh, in 2015 and was expanded through the Environmental and Community Investment Agreement with Chevron. So there, were, there was funding set aside to support with um, solar installation. So over since, since 2007, over 500 households have received solar at no cost. Um, this is equivalent to about uh, 10.9 million in lifetime savings um, and about uh, the equivalent of about 507 or 80 trees planted. Uh, so it's been a really great partnership. We've really enjoyed working with GRID and really excited that over the years we've been able to expand it um, and also support with other items that have sometimes been a barrier for solar installation. Uh, I do want to note, um, so there are a couple of eligibility requirements for this program. So if you don't qualify for the program, we do recommend still participating and looking into Bay Area SunShares. They open up in about September and August, and it's like bulk buying for solar. So they basically get a bunch of folks together um, who are interested in solar or electric vehicles. Um, they they um, they get a bunch of contractors, both solar and EV uh, contractors, solar contractors, EV dealers, electric vehicle dealers, um, to basically say, yeah, if you get this many people, we'll give you a discount. Um, they also vet all of their contractors. Um, you can kind of shop around with the contractors to see who gives the best price and also leverages the, the most incentives from the state. Um, and then, you know, if you see a proposal that you like, you can go for it. If not, don't worry about it. There's uh, no commitment. Um, also, MCE um, is a great resource and has a lot of great incentives. Greenhouse calls with Rising Sun, they are here this evening. They will do free greenhouse call assessments for your home and then also with that includes um, like free light bulbs, free LED light bulbs, and other energy efficiency and water efficiency saving measures. Every little bit helps. <laughs> so please feel free to chat with them after the presentation today. Um, there's also a bunch of other resources, but please visit um, www.richmondenvironment.org. Um, I'll also leave my card. Feel free to email me or Omar or call us. Absolutely happy to help and connect you to different resources. And with that, I will turn it over to the great team. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much, Samantha, for introducing us. Um, my name is Ambessa Cantave, and I am the Transformative Climate Communities Program Manager at Grid Alternative. And I'll be presenting to you today with my colleague over here, Jose Montes. We're going to be telling you about the features of our program and how you can qualify. And also, my colleague Juan will be translating in Spanish. Thank you so much again. So, during this presentation, we aim to answer these questions for you. Basically, who are we? Grid alternatives. How, how is our program funded? How are we different from um, solar companies? How much will you save and, you qualify, and how do you qualify? And also, how do you apply and get this started? And hopefully at the end of this presentation, we will, um, we will be able to answer all of your questions. So just for the first one, who is Grid Alternatives? Well, we're America's largest nonprofit solar install installer. And our mission is to build community-powered solutions like solar, like um, clean mobility, to advance economic and environmental justice through our renewable energy products. What we envision is a transition to clean renewable energy that includes everyone. To make renewable energy technology accessible to 
to our communities is what GRID is all about. So next, I can tell you a lot more, but I think um, pictures and videos do greater justice in just talking about our program. So for the next few seconds or so, you'll get to see what our program is about. We hatched this crazy idea that we were going to install solar for low-income folks. In 2004, we did two installations the whole year. We thought we were a smashing success. And what happened after that was those two people told their cousin and their neighbor down the street and said, you know what, solar's for us too, we can get solar. And those 10 people that we twisted their arms into volunteering with us that first time, they told 10 people who told 10 people who told 10 people. We strive for what we call triple bottom line. People, planet, employment. Helping people save on their electricity bills, helping the environment with cleaner air, and lastly, helping people get meaningful employment as a solar career. And now, Jose Montes will tell you about our Energy for All program. Thank you so much. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jose Montes. I'm one of the community engagement coordinators, along with Bobby Singh and Rachel Matheny. So we represent the Energy for All program. We make solar power accessible for families who need the savings the most. Uh, along with that, we provide hands-on solar training for volunteers and job trainees. So as the video was saying, our motto is people, planet, employment. People are the people of our community that qualify for our program. Planet is our one and only planet that we live in. It's been affected through years of uh, green gas, byproduct and employment, providing hands-on training. So you might be wondering, how is this funded? Through multiple grants, local fundings, donations, membership programs, sponsors, federal rebates through our third-party ownership model with our partner Sunrun, and most importantly, state re rebates through the Disadvantaged Communities Single Family Solar Homes Program, also known as DAXASH. DAXASH, was part of the part of, part of Senate Bill 535 that was implemented about 11 years ago. The DAXASH program is overseen by the Pu California Public Utilities Commission and is administered through grid alternatives in the form of Energy for All. I spoke a little bit about Sunrun. With Sunrun, we're able to provide 25 years of no cost solar. We, the grid alternatives will prepay for the entire system on your behalf. Sunrun is responsible for ensuring, repairing, monitoring, replacing your system, and at the end of 25 years, they remove the system at no cost to you. So will you own your system? Grid will help you with the TPO third-party ownership model. You will get 100% of the solar benefits, and Sunrun will be the owner on paper. As you folks know, in the summertime, we get an ample amount of sun. This is when you'll see the most savings on your electric bill, opposed to the winter and fall time, where the, you'll have a little bit less savings, but there will be savings. When you roll, when you install solar panels, you'll be enrolled into the net energy metering three tier. With solar and this billing rate, we aim to save you up to 50% off your electric bill. As you, quick, something quick to note, the hours between 12 and three, this is when you are off peak. This is when your energy will be the lowest. And the hours between four and nine is peak hours when your electricity is most expensive. So with NEM3, it's important to know that your high usage hours are between the hours of four and nine, meaning this is when the electricity is most expensive. Right now, you're paying 100% to PG&E. With our program, we aim to save you that much off your electric bill. This program will cost you absolutely zero dollars. So how do you qualify? One, you have to be the owner and live inside your home. Second qualification, you have to have qualifying incomes. For example, a family of four, their maximum household income is $75,000. We determine this on line nine of your 1040 tax returns. 
you have to live in a state-funded area, you have to use at least 3,000 kilowatt hours a year, your roof has to be in good conditions, meaning your roof has to have at least 10 years of lifespan left. Left, You have to have good space and minimal shading. If you meet all these criteria, you qualify for a no-cost solar. Thank you so much, Jose. And so now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about another product we have, another program we have, our Clean Mobility Program, which is a way to get, um, well, let me tell you more. With our Clean Mobility Program, we partner with the City of Richmond in the Richmond Electric Vehicle Charging Program, which provides no-cost home charging options for residents like you. So, if you're currently in the process of like purchasing an EV, um, a level two home charger in installer, we um, can install it on your home, but also the process is, if you're going for a charger on your home and going for solar for us, from us, that makes like the perfect um, package where you can not only get a charger, but you can have solar on your home to power the charging. These programs can work independently, but as I said before, they work best together. So if you're able to get an EV while still designing your solar system, we will right size your system to be able to make the best use of um, the EV um, charging. Sorry. So you might ask, how does this all work? How does the whole solar process work? Well, for one, it takes about four to nine months. Um, it's, but once you get an application with this, that application will be good for a year. And the steps to this process are first the application that you sign in. Once you sign the application, we assign one of our um, um, coordinators with you to help walk you through the whole process. Um, you get a construction visit from one of our own um, construction staff to just basically see uh, where's the best place to put the solar on your home um, and basically what are your usage needs and the like. After this process, we get into the whole con contractual um, mode where we're making sure that we have all the necessary documents to vet you. We install upon your home. It gets inspected by the city and after that, your solar gets all turned on. Now, this not only sounds great on paper, but we've been doing this in the city of Richmond for uh, about 20 years or so, and I can tell you of all the good things about it, but nothing beats a personal testimony. Hello, my name is Mrs. Dennis. I have been a Richmond resident since 1955. Two years ago, I got panels from Grid Alternatives for free, thank God for free. My first bill was only $6, $6. The money I saved on the electric bill has helped me pay for my medicine, my medical, and other bills. And if you didn't hear that, her first bill was $6, $6. It's very real, folks. So the next step from here, um, as you can see, we have some of our outreach coordinators here. You can speak to them and they can see if you qualify and get you going. We also have um, on our staff, we have Spanish speaking, Cantonese speaking staff as well. Um, you can call our 866-921-4696 phone number or visit our website at www.energyforallprogram.org slash Richmond. If you're interested in learning more about our clean energy program, you can contact 510-710-1310-1310 or email BACleanMobility at GreenAlternatives.org. And what we then ask to do is just to pay it forward. Refer a friend or a neighbor. Why? Because we have a Refer a Friend Rewards program. So if you find someone that you know that um, you refer them to solar and they qualify and they get solar installed on their home, in addition to you all getting solar, you will be rewarded $200 for referring. We want to empower communities to solarize and, and it, it just adopt renewables into your lives because it's not only good for you all, but it's good for the planet and where we need to go. That said, we are open to all of your questions and comments in um, English and Spanish. And Carmen is here to answer any questions that you may have. And 
Thank you so much for coming to this presentation. Carmen? Thank you. Thank you, Amrita. Thank you, Jose. My name is Carmen Samudio. I'm the Outreach Manager for Great Alternatives Bay Area Office. I'm very happy that to see many faces. Thank you for coming over. It's really appreciated. So who has a question? Raise your hand. And any questions? Yes, ma'am. Let's say I have uh, the solar on top of my house. Mm -hmm. When do I notify PG&E to disconnect the electricity from okay. my house? Good question. Actually, you don't need to, do, to let PG&E know because we submit um, a petition to PG&E to turn on the system. So they will be notified from, uh, through us, from us, that you have solar installed, ready to go. We will receive, you will receive, and we receive a notification saying that you have permission to operate. So it's not needed. So I'm gonna translate that, that's okay. This one? Yeah. So the question was, what was the question? It's when, when you need to notify PG&E to turn on the system. Okay. So the question is, when you need to notify PG&E to turn on the system. Okay. So the question is, when you need to notify PG&E to turn on the system. Pero nosotros hacemos todo eso, no necesito hacer nada de usted. Nosotros nos encargamos de eso. Clara, please. Hello. Okay. Do you have a question? Well, I, it sounded like you asked when, um, when do you notify PG to turn your electricity off? That's not what happens. You're, you don't have your electricity well, turned off. Turn the bill off, so I won't receive the bill. But go ahead. Okay, let me let me let me, yeah, let me explain a little bit more about. Uh, thank you, Wanda. So what it happens is, the solar system is connected to the meter of PG&E. So since we had no batteries uh, to storage electricity, what is going to happen is, when the day comes, the light, it will produce solar electricity. That electricity will come straight to your home. And that electricity is for free. The sun doesn't charge. Okay? Now, nighttime or when the system is not producing enough electricity that you are consuming, then the meter has a way to know that and the electricity will come from PGE. And that's the electricity that you will pay to PGE. So in other words, when Jose also uh, uh, Jose showed you the, the graphics you have opportunity to produce a lot of solar electricity during the summertime, unless you're in winter time because of the short days in winter and the longer days in, uh, in summertime. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pause that so I can translate. So the, the confusion era is that these systems siempre están uh, conectados a la red. So nunca, hay muchas personas que dicen, voy a tener solar, ya no voy a tener uh, cargo electric y eso no es cierto en nuestros sistemas. Siempre va a tener algún tipo de cargo, lo que va a decir los sistemas, los sistemas solares es va a reducir su vida, pero siempre va a tener algo y nunca va, si no hay electricidad, uh, alguien pega la luz al lado de, de, de su casa, se va a apagar su sistema. So, no, es, no es ese tipo de electricidad, ese tipo de sistemas ocupan batería y estamos trabajando en eso, pero todavía no es activo. ¿Puedo answer la pregunta? Okay, anyone else? Very good oh, question. Sorry, could I, could I add real quick? I just also want to toot Grid's horn a little bit more. So they literally do it all. They, they help with all the paperwork, uh, getting the designs on the roof, doing the assessment, getting the, the, um, the volunteers or the workers out to install it. They interact with PG&E to do the interconnection paperwork. They, they literally do it all. Um, and that's one of the reasons that the city loves this program and loves GRID so much is they, they are there every step of the way to answer any questions, to support, to, to do all the submissions with the paperwork, um, all of the installations. They're, they're there every step of the way. And it's, it's really helpful. And I know, personally, I've learned a lot through this process and through installations as well. And um, I've done a I've done an install on a Richmond home, and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. So Grid hace todo. Grid hace todo por usted. Lo más usted lo que tiene que hacer es contestar nuestro teléfono y 
ayudar con el papeleo que, que pedimos y que refiere a personas. Yes, sorry. Uh, a question over here, Samantha. We want to uh, use the microphone so everybody can hear your question. Is that okay? Everybody, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this may sound a little ridiculous, but what about the uh, energy that you say? Is there any way you can resell it back to each and or how does that work? I love so the okay. questions in this room. <laughs> ¿Qué pasa yes. con la energía que produces? ¿Hay yes. forma de ahorrar más o, o créditos? ¿Qué pasa con esa energía? I'm going to explain it, um, try to explain it in a way that can be easy to understand. The utility companies just won a battle with the government and from April 15 and on the electricity that you can do overproduce in your system that you can sell to PG&E is going to be paid at a lower rate versus from, from the client. So PG&E is going to charge you a little more. No. PG&E is going to pay you less money for the credits that you create when you produce overproducing solar electricity versus people that were uh, interconnected or have the solar running before April 15. However, it's possible that if you are on the care program that the savings can be a little higher. And more detailed information probably would be by the time of the contract because we we cannot really tell you it's going to be safe it's, you're going to be selling that that electricity that's 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 the main point um point but it won't be like uh, people that have solar previous april 15. if, if that makes sense so the question was about the credits y hay dos formas de pensar cómo se trabajan los sistemas solares. Antes de uh, abril 15 eran diferentes formas, o cualquier persona que ya tenía uh, sus sistemas solares es diferente forma. Después de eso, que muchas personas de aquí van a estar en ese, uh, no es lo mismo, ya no es como créditos donde, donde lo que ahorras es lo que te pagan, ya no es lo mismo. Lo, lo que es, es que PG&E está uh, dando incentivos para que no uses electricidad de las 4 a las 9, eso es lo que ellos quieren y no les conviene dar créditos en ese tiempo porque pues, son compañías, solo que es no, nosotros lo que cuando les, les ponemos los sistemas solares, cuando esté prendido su sistema solar es cuando pueden ir a más ahorros, so, tratar de, si, si está suspendido su sistema es cuando puede usar electricidad, es cuando va a ahorrar más. ¿Tiene la pregunta? What is it? I have another one, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, I love questions. We have a question over here. Yes. Yes. You can help everybody in the room. So, so, so now, uh, how do you produce, uh, what is the peak hours for uh, saving on your electricity is between 5 and 9 or 8 and 4? Okay. So, when can I earn more? Okay, um, I can tell you this, and, and hopefully we will answer somehow the, the question. The solar systems normally produces the, the best time of production. Solar production will be from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So I took it like a solar panels when they, they light come out on the day, they waking up like we straight and start you know little by little uh, producing solar electricity until they peak, they reach the peak and then goes down by the light goes up right, right. and then go to sleep that's when you're paying to begin in. so you have a question about it well you, you, you have to see this one okay oh. <laughs> My question is, is that uh, a while back, oh, okay. when we had uh, heavy rain, we had power blackouts in the area. Where I live is that the power was all probably about 
two or three days. During that time frame, because my kitchen was electric, I had no usage of my kitchen. I noticed across the street from me, there's a school, and they have uh, solar in the parking areas. I noticed at nighttime, the solar was not on. How does this affect? How many effect does it have on Ok, um. so, la pregunta es, uh, donde yo vivo en Richmond, cuando se apagó la electricidad, no teníamos electricidad por uh, dos días. Y mire que la escuela enfrente de, de donde yo vivo también tenía paneles solares. Y mire que cuando, la, cuando no estaban prendidos uh, en el día tampoco no, no se crían. Esos sistemas, ¿cómo me van a ayudar en esta situación? Bueno, si es un power average, Unfortunately, we need to wait until pg and &E fix the problem. So even if you have solar, you won't have electricity. And since we have no batteries right now to provide, uh, you won't have electricity. And it is very unfortunate. We're working on it. And if we get to the point that we can get a funding uh, for batteries, and I tell you this, batteries on average cost $10,000 and only last uh, between six and eight years on average. So if we are providing you with a program with, for 25 years, it's very expensive. So we need, we need a very good funding to make that possible. Yeah, so I'm going to check the question. So estos sistemas, como están, ocupan baterías para si, si, si algo le pasa a, a la vuelta, pg &E controla todos, todas las cosas eléctricas, es seg según por seguro. Seguro si están arreglando algo abajo de, a, la, a la vuelta de donde vive, no hay riesgo a la persona. Uh, estamos trabajando en programas donde podemos poner baterías que van a actuar para que le den tal vez uh, emergencias, pueden ayudarle en esa situación. And I just wanted to add, this is something that's uh, a priority for the city of Richmond as well as GRID and MCE um, providing that resilience factor uh, when the power does go out. So um, we are working on a program with uh, PG, uh, not PG, uh, MCE. Uh, it's called the Virtual Power Plant. And so it helps to provide um, some incentives for different energy efficiency measures, but also a backup battery uh, to be installed on your home and paired with the solar. That being said, it, it doesn't cover all the costs. There is some costs associated Um, but um, that's also something that we're, we are working on as well. Also, um, as you may or may not be aware, the city received the Transformative Climate Communities Grant, so we are able to provide additional items um, through, through the GRID MCE partnership um, to, to certain areas in Richmond. So that is something we are trying to work on, but definitely connect with GRID and as more opportunities pop up, Um, it's good that we have your contact information and then also sign up for um, the environmental and health initiatives listserv, the city listserv, as well as the city manager's weekly report. So um, the city manager will send out a weekly report that has information all about the city, um, all departments, um, and it ranges from different events, programs, um, grants, things like that that are just happening throughout the city. Um, so we highly recommend um, signing up for those those uh, opportunities and options for staying in touch as more more programs are starting to um, come out. So. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Está bien, está bien. So uh, hay programas uh, que resuelven este problema. Estamos tratando de trabajar con MCE para pro provenir a uh, diferentes programas que pueden ofrecer baterías. Uh, tal vez si ahora energía te pueden dar más dinero uh, pero todo esto estamos trabajando ahorita todavía pero la ciudad de Richmond uh, quiere uh, hacer más de esos tipos de programas donde incluyen el solar y la batería para que haya más um, residencia no sé cómo sea la palabra en español pero eh, 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 viene pronto esos tipos de, de programas que nomás están poquitos caros y no hay forma de ofrecer estos sin costo todavía, pero ahí, ahí vamos. Anyone else? Anyone? Okay, over there. Question, we we, we want to give you the microphone. Is that okay? 
Okay, Samantha. Oh, oh, one, one more question. Oh, oh. Yeah, the other thing I wanted to ask is, do you recommend prior to be installed in the solar, is that the roof be inspected and that necessary to go ahead and be approved uh, based on the home? I didn't hear the question. Uh, so the question was, do you recommend getting your roof inspected b before you put on the solar? So the question is, is it bueno mirar el techo antes de que pongan el sistema solar? The process that we have is a first application, then construction will will go and visit the, the house. Mm. It will be probably. Is there a reason why you wanted to have inspected the roof first? No, it, it depends on how long you have had a roof put on. It's been probably about 14 years. You know, with the roof is getting to be as part of the preliminary steps to make sure that you qualify for solar, mm -hmm. that is part of the inspection. So the inspector will come to your house and ensure that your roof, that your roof is structured appropriately to withstand a system. And if you're not, if it is not, then that's when we go back and figure out how can we make sure that you are eligible for solar. So those are, we treat it out on a case by case basis. Is that? Correct. Yes. yes. So uh, and also the uh, one more thing, um, ma'am. The application is good for one year. So if you apply now and you encounter a situation like uh, the roof is not good and we don't have funds to um, help you with the fix or re-roofing, let's put a sample. Then you still have a year with the same income. But you can always um, apply again and again and again if that happens, okay? Well, my concern is, is that I don't want to have solar put on if in fact my roof is another year or two could possibly be. And then the solar is already there. And it means is that I have to have a roof put on. It means that we have to come uh, up and take it apart and then we need to have a new roof put on there. Okay. So okay. Um, we won't. Uh, I understand. Okay, we won't install um, a roof, a uh, solar, and the roof unless we know or value um value no no value i say we make sure that the house has the roof has at least 10 years remaining on life so at least 10 years remaining on life if it has like four or five or they have a ways to know and test the, the roofs and they can give you an average life remaining life but if it's like a no has to be more than 10 years in order for us to install solar that answers your questions? And very good questions. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think you did answer the question. I was going to ask the same question. Oh, really? Uh, so okay. So you said uh, 10 years remaining on the life of the roof uh, in order to um, get the solar placed on the roof. Correct. <coughs> and also I wanted to add, this is an extra, I'm going to put a cherry in the top. <laughs> is uh, if you need to re-roof within the 10 years of the installation, grid will be installed and reinstalled for free so you can re-roof your home sure if we install solar in your home 
and you need to regroup, you have 10 years for us to do the install and reinstall for free. So you can do the re-roofing in your home. Yeah, but it, it, uh, I think when we do the inspection, uh, I think we are trying to have people that have 10 years worth of life because, uh, yeah, I think doing a deinstall, reinstall, it's not something that we, we try to screen out that, that part out. Is it a 25 year? Uh, 25 year um, contract. Yeah, The honor will be responsible to pay um, someone that is uh, have the license and knows how to do it. They need to call Sandra for kind of permission to authorize the the in, they install and reinstall. But we wanted to work also on it, and probably you can ask Reed, and we can do it for a better better deal, cheaper. But yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, in regards to, the, to your income taxes, or you have to show that, um, what do, is it gross income or is it net income? Um, I told you this. If people need this. People, people that are getting Social Security income is um, the income taxes uh, is not taxable at 100%. Right. It's not 100% taxable. So. That's why we look at line nine. So it reduces. But line nine says net uh, gross oh, income. So exactly. So it's on in and where there is gross income taxes on Chicamos. Any other questions? Yes. Yes. Well, I know uh, so, some houses get a lot more sunlight than others. Okay. So with mm -hmm. that being said, is there a certain amount of panels? when they come out and look at it and inspect it that that certain houses that some houses will get if they're three panels, four panels, or does everybody get the same amount of panels no matter what? No. So yes. la pregunta es eh, hay unas casas donde reciben más sol y hay unas que reciben menos sol. ¿Cómo determinan el tamaño de su sistema? So what we do is um, collecting the PG E electrical annual usage okay. along with the Roof inspection is what it tells us how many solar panels we can install for you. So it's an individual basis? Individual basis. Yeah. It, yes, it's customized. Each uh, family, it will be a um, different size of system. Gotcha. And that's how you come up with the 35 to 50 percent of savings. Correct. On that. Gotcha. Correct. Right. Exactly. Just want to make sure they know if there's a certain amount of panels or, or not. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. But we always want to try to do as much we can. Believe me. Okay. That's right. the, the point is to help. Gotcha. But to do a real help. Right. You know, tangible. Right. You know, right. like a, you right. can see there. <laughs> right. and, and that's right. what we are trying to do. So so okay. trust us that we're gonna do our, our best okay. for each of you. So cada casa recibe un sistema particular a su casa. si dependiendo de todos los factores que hicimos. Very good questions. Oh, I want to give you an applause for the audience because that's very good questions. Any other questions? Yes, once. Yes, two. No. Yes, no. No, yes. You have a question? What happens if I sell my house? What happens if you sell your home? Okay. <laughs> See, that's a very good question. <laughs> See? Well, Nothing, nothing, um, nothing to worry about because um, is since we are prepaying at front 25 years of free solar electricity, it's like a, just trans we just want to transfer to the new homeowner the remaining of the 25 years with all the benefits that you are getting without going through the same process. So that's very easy. You just communicate with San Juan or Grid and says, I sell my house, the new owner is ex um, John Smith, a contact information, and that's it. So, not a problem. So
so, en este ejemplo, si viene a su casa, la próxima persona que compre su casa, básicamente uh, toma el resto del contrato. Todos los beneficios que recibió usted, los reciben ellos y no tienen que aplicar para el programa. Se queda con la casa. Y no, no, hay, no hay ninguna forma que le moleste a usted para, para vender la casa, no hay, no hay nada de eso. And let me add, since we don't add a lien, it's not a problem. So you are not losing anything. Como pagamos todo, no hay lien en su casa. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. So the program starts like now? How long? No. Is it in effect? No, no. The, the journey starts now, yes. But the 25 years will start by the time pg and give us the permission to turn on the system. So that can be uh, within four months, six months, eight months, nine months. I don't know. Uh, but that date, the date the PGE gave us the permission to turn on the system. That day it starts with 25 years. So you don't have to worry about that. You're losing time from now to then, right? No, I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about referrals. Referrals. <laughs> oh. oh, I love you already. I like you already. <laughs> Yeah, you got me, you got me. <laughs> you got me. We love referrals. And let, let me, let me, if you, if you allow me, let me say something. Um, I be, personally, I've been, on, I've been on the streets, knocking on doors, stopping people that are walking, say, hey, 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 hold on, hold on. I have my weakness here. Um, and I said, uh, we can, we can give you solar for no cost. People, People think, um, yeah, it sounds too good to be true, right? And and I said, yeah, I, I agree, but I'm gonna I'm gonna rephrase uh, rephrase, uh, rephrase my my wording. No cost. So that means that costs money, but you don't pay for it. Okay. So when I don't pay for something, I tell everybody I got something for free. <laughs> okay. And then the free word uh, flies. Um, but I want you to acknowledge that no cost, that's the, the right word to use, but no everybody understands it, because if you tell me free, I, I will take it, okay? So just wanna make, you know, uh, note of the difference between the no cost. Yes, ma'am. So you, you service uh, the panels for 25 years, am I right? We do everything that is needed to be done for 25 years. Okay. Now, wait, I wanted to ask you, what do you mean by service? Well, if something, let's say the panel flies off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> but I assure you, they don't have wings. <laughs> 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 Cause it not to work, and, and it's, you know, not through your pg and is something wrong with the solar panel, so mm -hmm. I mean, uh, if those kind of things, you know, you never know. Things happen. Yes, all the time. yes, yes, absolutely. Fire, catch it, wildfire. Absolutely, yes, yeah. absolutely. So the Sunrun uh, provides you with insurance mm -hmm. on the system. So if something happens, you can directly call Grid or Sunrun. Oh, Sun. And Grid is the one that is going to go and check mm -hmm. either through the uh, Wi Fi, the internet, mm -hmm. the uh, computer because we have a, a way to, to monitor, the, not to monitor, to check the systems, if they are working or not. If it's something that requires a person to go and check uh, the system, uh, it's, you are covered. And the contract we will tell you that the insurance will cover uh, pretty much. Uh, and that's all included. Yes, it's all included, okay. and all included. And that doesn't specify flying objects, but. <laughs> <laughs> But, but it, it tells you that it will cover. So, so it's worry-free or free worry. worry How you free. <laughs> so lo que estaba platicando es, si algo le pasa a mis paneles solares, se quebran o vuelan por ahí, que es lo que va a pasar. Y decimos que es lo bueno de tener aseguranza con, con Sunrun, que ellos se encargan de, de eso, no lo dicen a nosotros, y nosotros vamos a checar sus sistemas solares. So usted no tiene que preocuparse por uh, el mantenimiento del sistema. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Is the insurance you have to pay for that separately? And what is the average cost for the insurance? The answer is no. You don't have to pay for the insurance. 
this pro at this program you don't have to pay no even a penny during 25 years okay so the insurance is part of the benefits that Sunrun it will give you and I'm going to explain why Sunrun is responsible he, is, they are going to be the owners of the of the system and paper okay and since they get federal rebates with that money they're going to pay for your insurance monitoring they're going to guarantee uh, your roof for 10 years if there's any leaks or damage because of solar installation they're going to pay for it if there's any repair or replacements on the components they're going to pay for it and they're also going to guarantee 90 percent of your solar production so uh, the contract is a document that says how much electricity they, they are um, projecting for your system to produce and they have to match you know they have to um, comply with 90 percent if you miss any below 90 percent they have to pay you send you a check so you don't have to pay it's more likely that in the case the system fails they will pay you for 25 years for the whole contract yes, 25 years so in other words it's no better deal than this one no i was just going to ask when y'all coming to georgia i mean this in georgia oh, okay. I kid you not. <laughs> did i answer your question okay thank you I also have to say, uh, this is probably one of my favorite workshops um, that we hold every year. It's it's such a great program, um, and it's it's really fun to say, you know, it's it's absolutely no cost. I know when I first started at the city of Richmond, I was like, there's no way, <laughs> like there has to be a cost, but it's no cost. I, I, I've, I've looked at it, and I got nothing, so. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha, for your support. So, is there any other questions? Don't be, don't be shy. We are family already. Yes, yes. Okay, you indicated that uh, MC, that MCE, MCE? Mm -hmm. is, is trying to produce a battery um, uh, uh, and batteries cost 10,000. An average. Mm -hmm. you know, on an average. Uh, but is a date haven't been set if anything has been produced. Am I right? So um, it's not that they're producing the battery. They, they have a program that will help to pay for a battery. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. So um, I don't know, Omar, do we have any handouts for the DPP program yet? We don't have any handouts yet. Um, we, we are in the process of designing a pilot for the program. So it is something that is still in planning, oh. the planning phase. Um, and we are considering prioritizing participants from grid because they already have solar. So the goal there is to enhance your experience in renewable energy, which is when the battery is an enhancement. Battery, EV, all that is an enhancement. The EV, yeah, and they can want to do both. And if I may add, like I, like Samantha, I was like, wait, this is not like generally and I recently signed up for solar, so for, if there's anyone that reads the terms and conditions, like that's me. Okay. Um, and this is like, we are so happy to be partnered with Grid. And I know Samantha can attest to the number of calls that we get. Like someone came and said free solar, and unfortunately that's a, that's a marketing for other solar companies, and people are skeptical when they mm -hmm. see Grid knocking on their door. And, that's why we love hosting these events to make sure that everyone is aware that the city is in full support of the grid. Tenemos el apoyo de la ciudad, porque muchas personas dicen que ofrecen sistemas solares sin costo, pero Grid es el único que puede ofrecer este programa sin costo. Por eso la ciudad promueve este programa. I'm going to invite you. Um, I hope we can. We we already won, uh, win your trust and you believe us and be please uh, the boys out there your neighbors your friends tell them about us 
is um, we can make this possible, and it's not only for, for the family, it's also for the environment. Uh, we are experiencing a lot of changes on the climate, and it's, um, we need to do something. By going solar, it's a part of that solution. So I invite you please to pass on the word, help us. We need your help, okay? You will be rewarded with solar. <laughs> so, all right, so any other questions? And we'll be hanging out after for a little bit, so if, if questions pop up, feel free to, to ask anybody. Um, also, um, Grid's really amazing that if other questions pop up as you're going through the process, they're great at helping and being available to answer any of those questions and really support throughout the process.